Okay. <clears throat> Um, Isaiah chapter 18, a prophecy against Cush. Um, okay, woe to the land of wearing wings along the rivers of Cush, which sends envoys by sea in papyrus boats over the water. Go, swift messengers, to a people tall and smooth-skinned, to a people feared far and wide, an aggressive nation of strange speech, whose land is divided by rivers. All you people of the world, you who live on the earth, when a banner is raised on the mountains, you will see it. And when a trumpet sounds, you will hear it. This is what the Lord says to me. I will remain quiet and will look on from my dwelling place, like shimmering heat in the sunshine, like a cloud of dew in the heat of harvest. For before the harvest, when the blossom is gone and the flower becomes a ripening grape, he will cut off the shoots with pruning knives and cut down and take away the spreading branches. They will all be left to the mountain birds of prey and to the wild animals. The birds will feed on them all summer, the wild animals all winter. At that time, gifts will be brought to the Lord Almighty, from a people tall and smooth skin, from a people feared far and wide, an aggressive nation of strange speech, whose land is divided by rivers. The gifts will be brought to Mount Zion, the place of the name of the Lord Almighty. Okay, so once again, whew, okay, there's a lot here. Um... When I read this portion, I see it as more of a prophecy leaning towards the future, our future, um, future, uh, even beyond us. Um, and um, so this is talking about the people, again, so we're talking about all the um nations around Israel. So this is Isaiah addressing all of the other nations around Israel because he's already addressed Israel. He already said, you know, because you're not following the Lord, there's there's going you're going to be exiled. And so if you continue if, you know, and if you decide to turn to follow the Lord, then great and that will delay or prevent. But at that time, he was basically just telling him this is gonna what's gonna happen <laughs> because they already going they had already went down that path, and so um, now he's talking about the other nations around because remember the God created every every single person, so there wasn't supposed to be um, everybody worshiping different things and not recognizing who the Lord is. And so the Lord's saying, everybody, all these other nations too, they will know that I am the Lord. They will come back to me. And so um, we know that the exile, they return, is, um, Israel returns from the exile and they get to rebuild the temple. And during that time, um, there may have been other people during, you know, from other areas, Kush, Moab, etc., that may have been because when Assyria and Babylon came in, they displaced everybody. They moved all kinds of people around from every different area, and so um, some um, Bible scholars believe that it's talking about that. But in and also he's talking about the future, future. Like he is talking about what we'll be talking about and bring back up in Revelations. Um, where all nations will know um, when the time comes. And we'll be talking about more information in regards to, um, oh, I just don't want to give it away. <laughs> there's so much. <laughs> our Lord and Savior Jesus. It's about our Lord and Savior Jesus, but there's so much to it. And so, um, goodness gracious, uh, bringing past to present. We don't know our future. You know, we don't know one day to the next. So the Lord wants us to worry about today, right? And um, 
there's even a verse of that we will read over and uh, that says something uh, along those lines. And so what we want to also do is we want to seek the Lord's wisdom continually. And we also want to, um, when there's opportunity from the Holy Spirit, guidance by the Lord to go ahead and accept those tasks that we are set out to do. That way, we are being able to be utilized by the Lord. And man, oh man, the Lord gives out those blessings. And also understand that when we do not think that we are living up or we believe that we're not doing correctly or we know that we're not doing correctly because we may not be. We Like I said, temptation happens. We slip, we slip up that the Lord is right there with us to forgive us and, like I said, dust us off and get us going again. Um, being that relief, being that support, being our God. Amen and hallelujah. And that's for everybody. That is for everybody. And so there will be a time where all nations will know who the Lord is. FYI, for your information, what kind of thoughts or feelings come to your mind when we read over this? How does it make you feel and what does it make you think?